ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you another tool that we are going to use a lot uh, if, if you try to model something, all right? When we are modeling, we are going to use this tool a lot. This one is called the poly split tool, and this one allows me to cut our polygons in any kind of shape, all right? So, for example, you can see now we have quads, and I can go here and select from quadrilaterals, I can change that to triangles, all right? So this is the only two kind of shapes that I can use uh, by default, right? Well, we have all these different options, but uh, just shapes for my polygons, this is all I get. And I'm going to select again uh, quads, all right, Quadri quadrilaterals, and I'm going to show you how we can split our polygons. So first, first thing is that we don't need to select a specific polygon in order to cut our polygons. What I can do is just click here in my poly split tool, I'm going to create a new node called poly split number one. And remember, we have our vice here. Left click on an edge or, an, or vertices to add points and split the path. All right. So what that means is that I need to click on points all right, like this. One point, click here and then drag and click in this point in order to complete my division and cut in this direction or vertices. OK, I can click here and click here in order to create this kind of a split and divide my polygons like that. Now I want to show you. When I have my cursor close to a point, I have a circle and when I am in a, in a edge, I have this X, right? So that's the way you can, uh, you know where you are. Now if you click outside of a vertex or um, outside of an um, edge, uh, let's say you click in, in the middle of a polygon, you're going to have this error message, right? File to pick a vertex or an edge. So that's important. Now I can click here and I'm going to show you what we can do. Click here and this tool uh, allows us to keep drawing, right? Clip, uh, keep uh, uh, cutting. You can see with this red uh, mark, you can see how we are creating this kind of uh, shape, right? Clicking and clicking, just like that. I can go faster if I want to. Right? When you see this red uh, mark there, that is because we are clicking in other area uh, in, in the middle of, uh, of our polygon. Now you can see that I can click here and finish my drawing. This is because we work like um, uh, something close to the, if, if you remember, oops, let me do that. We work like um, in the curve tool. Remember, I can press enter in order to finish my draw, right? And that's what I get. Now we have a lot of uh, polygons, more polygons, because we divide and cut all these uh, polygons. So I'm going to de uh, delete this polygon and I'm going to create another kind of cut. I'm going to select poly split and now I'm going to click like this, right? And as you can see, I, I, I was clicking and clicking and clicking all the way around in order to create that, that effect, all right? And actually there is another way. What I can do is go to my properties and here in path type, I can change from short di shortest uh, distance, the one that I was using, change it to quad strip, all right? So I can select, for example, this right here, this point, and I am not going to click anywhere else, just this uh, area. Now I can click close path and press enter. And there we go. Just with one click, I have all these divisions, right? And they are even, nice, and a perfect cut through the entire object, right? So that's what we can do. And we have the tolerance, obviously, here. And we can move the tolerance, but obviously, because this is a perfect cut, we can see uh, that. I'm going to delete this and go against. And now I'm going to create a, an irregular shape. You know, like clicking here, 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 and you can go and click in edges that already exist. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. You can click anywhere and you can create any kind of shape. Okay, press enter to complete, and there we go. Now, one thing um, if you don't click in close a path, you are not going to close the path. That's uh, for, for example, imagine that. We have a line here to here, and we didn't check this option. We are not going to have this line, all right? So it's important to close your path when you need it. Now let's see what we have here. We go to our selection tool, press four, 
click and click right we can select only this section and extrude right so you can see now we have this kind of uh, weird shape that we just create a regular shape with our poly split and actually I select this other polygon here but it's okay that's uh, what I want to show you how you can select and create different shapes using your poly split tool and I see you in the next movie